everybody. Welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable. I take the table dynamics and I relate those to our everyday lives. And we're going to do that today. So guys, come on in. Let's get started. Come on. Come on, bluff and you want to be my friend. Well, 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 shout out to everyone listening to the podcast all around the world. Listen, I love when you guys uh, let me know what country you're listening to the podcast from. And I tell you, if someone would have told me years ago that someone would be listening to my voice in Africa, in Germany, in Australia, you know, in the Cayman Islands, I, I wouldn't have believed them. So through technology, we can connect on something like this, the view that we all enjoy. So thanks for being here again. Now, listen, don't forget before you leave our hangout today, if you enjoyed our time together, let me know that by giving me a thumbs up, by sharing, by rating, by subscribing, by commenting, all those wonderful things that you do to let me know that you may not always agree, but you do enjoy our times together. Okay. So don't forget. Now let's talk about something. And as the young people say, I have the receipts for you today. You know, a lot of people don't know why Joy has really been enjoying moderating the show the last several days since Whoopi has been, you know, out on her suspension. A lot of people don't know the backstory there. And so I'm going to share it with you today. You know, Joy is getting her dream. Her dream is finally coming true. Now, I, I'm being a little bit dramatic when I say her dream is finally coming true. But what I wanted to talk to you about uh, is this, is that Joy has always wanted the moderator's job. She's always wanted to moderate the show. Matter of fact, that's the only reason that uh, they were able to get her back after they fired her the second time. And again, a lot of people who don't watch the show or who aren't OG viewers like most of us here, they don't know the backstory to this. Okay. So very quickly, when they fired Joy the second time, they had a different, of course, group of executives there. Um, They made her a promise. Hillary Etsy McLaughlin was the executive producer at that time. She was actually the senior EP. And she called Joy. Joy was in Providence, kind of just walking around. And she got a call from Hillary. And one of the things Hillary promised her that if she came back, she could moderate the show on Fridays. That's what they said. She said, you could just do it on Fridays. You can moderate on Fridays, right? And then, of course, you know how it goes, the bait and switch. When Joy got there, she did start moderating on Fridays. And then all of a sudden, you know, you know, it turned into her being there every day, okay? But what people don't know is, is that Joy has always wanted to moderate the show, but they never gave it to her because they didn't feel Joy was famous enough, okay? So let's take a few minutes together. We're going to listen to Joy actually tell us the story herself. You're not going to hear it from me. You're going to hear it from her now. OK, and I want you to stay tuned after the clip because I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. And we're going to talk about what people are saying about Joy moderating and, 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 and the conversation that's brewing online. So let's take a listen and I'll be back in just a moment. Um, so how did I come back? Oh, well, you know, they fired me at one point. I remember I, I had I was eating with you at uh, Doxy, you and Angela LaGreco that day. Yeah. Or right soon afterwards. And I said, I don't know. They canned me. I don't know why. Why? You know? And um, I they still... didn't give you a reason? A... Oh, they said, oh, I was becoming predictable, as Bill Getty said. That's a lie. I know that's a lie. He made that yeah. up just to... Because I know what the real reason is, which I won't tell you right now. Okay. I'll tell you later some other time. <laughs> when no one's listening. And, um, and so that was the end of that. And I was, like, so glad... To leave. I mean, he and Brandy uh, Barone came to my office looking like, you know, their cat just died. And I looked at them and I said, what are you, firing me? And they went, uh, yeah. And I said, good. Jeez. I've been waiting to get out of here. <laughs> and I was. Yeah. Well, and that's why you and, did all your writing, right? You started, you wrote your play and you did I all did. that. So it was great. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I did my solo show. I wrote, I started writing a play, which I'm going to have uh, a reading of it with big oh, stars, great. by the way. Anyway, what yeah. was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, so then I was walking around Provincetown one summer a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. And, but, and all of a sudden I get a call and it's Hillary McLaughlin, who was the new AP of the show. And she asked me to come back. And I said, I really don't want, I really didn't want to tell you the yeah. truth. So why she did said, you? Because she said, well, how about if you just host the show, MC the show or moderate on Fridays? 
And I said, I like that because I always liked that job. They never gave it to me because I wasn't famous enough, like <clears throat> like Whoopi and Rosie. And, and, and would you, in your case, it was, it was that you were a journalist, I think. Right. And, you know, but then they decided to put famous people in that spot. So that was the end of my career as a moderator. <laughs> anyway, I said, yeah, I'll do Fridays. And then you, before I knew it, I was on every day. You sucked in again. I know. Well, I, but then I said, all right, they tried to get me to come five days a week. And I was like, well, what's going to motivate me? So I bought a bigger house. I figured that would keep me. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not want to do it. Yeah. So this is, you know, a lot of people have been talking about online, you know, how happy Joy looks and how uh, great of a job she's doing. And she is, you know, doing a great job and she does look happy. Well, I feel that way, too. And I think you would, too, if you were finally getting the opportunity to do every day what you've been wanting to do. Again, we heard her say that's what kind of they lure, they use that to lure her back. And then, of course, you know, we heard the rest of what she had to say there. Now, as I transition to the end of our time together, I want to talk to you about what fans are saying online about Joy's moderating. OK, now I'm going to first tell you what they're saying, and then I'm going to give you my view on their view. OK, so I'm taking a lot of these comments from Twitter. All right. Especially a lot of people on Twitter have been saying that they are noticing that the other women appear to be happier when Joy is moderating. You know, they notice that they're laughing more, it's more fun, things of that nature. People are also quote, uh, saying on Twitter that they are noticing that the show itself seems to be running smoother. They're saying that they notice that the topics seem to be um, a little bit more cohesive or the conversation around the topic seems to be a little bit more cohesive than before. And of course, they're saying a lot of other things that, you know, in essence, I just tried to pull y'all the most common things I saw people saying on there. And those were the three most common things. So now let me give you my view on their view. Well, if you were with me, I'm going to say at least three years ago, we've been together longer than that, but at least three years ago, you remember me saying this, what I'm about to say now, which is this, you know, I've been saying consistently now for several years that I felt Whoopi was asleep at the wheel. Um, we've seen Whoopi when she's on her A game as a moderator and she is excellent when she's, when she's has the energy and the, her mind is focused, you know, on what she's doing there. But unfortunately, like me, like you, like any of us, when we are spread so thin because we're doing like multiple things, um, something is going to suffer. And normally if we have, let's just say five jobs, <laughs> the job that we feel we can kind of, you know, wing it on, that's the job that's going to suffer the most. Right. Um, and so I've been saying for years now that although I love Whoopi and I support her and those of you have been with me for years, you know that you've seen the balance here is only people who don't know that who seem to think I hate Whoopi, you know, because I am criticizing her, you know, I'm criticizing some things that she's done. I'm not agreeing with it. If I were agreeing with everything she do, she was doing, they think I'd love her. You know, we talked about how we don't want to be childlike in our reasoning abilities, you know, just because we hear someone criticize someone you know, only children say, oh, you criticize them. So therefore you don't like them or, oh, you like them because you say all these positive things. No, it could be the opposite either way. But no, here I just strive to be fair. I praise the women, but if I see them do something that I don't agree with, then yes, I speak on that. And I feel that that is just being fair. And I know a lot of people don't like it. And you know what I have to say, you just have to go find someone else to listen to because I'm going to be fair here on my podcast. And so thank God it's mine. That way I can do it the way I want, right? <laughs> so anyway, so, but you know, like I said, Whoopi um, just hasn't been doing the best job she can do. And it's been going on for a long time. So the last time we kind of touched on this was when Sunny moderated. Y'all remember that? Oh, honey, you talk about someone who did an excellent job. Sunny did a fabulous job moderating. And just like we see with Joy, the women were happier. It seemed like the uh, show was smoother. Everything I'm seeing people say now about Joy moderating all these last few days, uh, Sunny did the same thing, right? Uh, Sunny got the same, um, I'm saying feedback is what I meant to say. Sunny got the same feedback. And I'm going to tell you something, as soon as that began to kind of gain steam, Whoopi was sick, honey. Whoopi all of a sudden wasn't sick no more, honey. And she was right back there. And I told you guys, I think that she, now I don't know, I'm just assuming here. I think she may have seen the positive feedback that Sunny was getting back then. And so she, you know, knew, hey, listen, <laughs> see, if you've been asleep at the wheel for a long time and then someone comes in 
and, you know, steps in for you and they do a really good job, people can see the difference. It's not that people are trying to be mean. It's not that people are trying to hate on Whoopi and love on Joy. It's just that people can see the difference between someone who's doing a good job versus someone who isn't doing a good job. It's just really simple, guys. And so I told you guys that years ago, I said something else is going to happen here where someone else is going to be in that moderator seat. If Whoopi doesn't get it together and if she doesn't start taking this job a little bit more seriously, the way she used to do back in the day and properly preparing for these doggone shows and, and sitting down and actually doing what she's supposed to be doing, earning the money she's making, something's going to happen. Someone's going to sit there. They're going to do it the way it's supposed to be done. And people are going to be able to notice that. And so I, I'm telling y'all, I, I don't know about y'all, but I was not surprised at all the positive feedback that Joy's been getting online. You even have people <laughs> on Twitter, especially, you know, adding ABC saying, can we just leave it the way it is and let Joy keep moderating? But it's the same thing. Sonny got the same kind of feedback. Actually, I will say Sonny got a whole lot more because Sonny, I mean, when I tell you Sonny, did it excellently. She, I think, you know what? I think really any one of the women could moderate, right? Anybody can moderate, but not everyone can moderate well. And Joy and Sunny moderate well. We've not seen Anna moderate, so we don't know how she would do. You know, some people are, we would think because they're good at the table, that they would be good sitting in the moderator seat. It doesn't always work that way. You know, it doesn't always uh, transfer you know, to being good in that particular seat because the moderator's job is a little bit different than just being, you know, a co-host. The moderator's job is to introduce the topics, to introduce them properly. That's why I said years ago and said recently, Whoopi needs to read everything that's on the teleprompter because it helps introduce the topic properly, right? And, um, you know, thank God most of the women, you know, have been preparing here lately. I think Miss Kim got one, y'all, the new ABC News president. I think she's put a little fear of God and everybody, because it seems like to me, everybody's been doing a real good job since, since she suspended Whoopi. I think people understand there truly is a new president in town and she's going to treat everybody the same. It doesn't matter how big your star power is. If you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, or you break some of their policies, you're going to, you know, they're going to take, you know, um, action and they should, right? Isn't that what we all want is for everyone to be treated the same, no matter who they are, right? Don't people complain all the time about, People being treated differently because they're rich or because they're not rich or because their skin color or because of their, you know, influence. Right. So anyway, so at any rate, guys, I will tell you that Joy is doing a great job. You know, she is happy. <laughs> She's very, very happy. Um, and, you know, honestly, I think a, a lot of people would be OK if things just remain the way they are. You know, now I will end our time together by saying this, you know, one of the things I recognize when I am doing my research about stories to bring to you guys, when I am reading all the comments on Instagram and the Facebook group, you know, I creep and tiptoe all kinds of places. I go into the discussion boards. No one knows I'm there because I'm not there as my view on the view and I never comment. Right. So because I'm not there to comment, I'm there to see what other people are commenting about. And so I can kind of get a good overall sense of what fans are saying in general, right? I will tell you that I'm very much aware that there are people who could feel this way because they just don't like Whoopi. They don't like her period. So they don't want her moderating. And so, yeah, they may be adding ABC saying, Hey, give joy the moderator's job, you know, full time. So even though we see people saying these things, we don't know their real motivations for saying these things. So always keep that in mind, but I will just tell you, I have found myself enjoying the shows more. I really have. And I we've talked about that they've been laughing a lot more, haven't they? We've noticed it. We have noticed that. And we can't deny that, that the last many days, the women seem a little bit more relaxed. Um, you know, I think Whoopi runs, a, you know, when she is moderating, she runs a tight ship. But here's something else I want to say, and then we're going to end our time together. When people don't properly prepare for their jobs, well, let me just be more specific here. From what I've observed... When Whoopi doesn't properly prepare for the shows, we see her becoming a lot more controlling at the table. What do I mean by controlling? Shutting people down. I mean, like shutting them down. And because she is a moderator, of course, they're just going to be quiet, right? No matter who they are. And a lot of times we assume people are controlling um because they're just controlling people, they're mean people, you know, they're mean spirited people. No, 
In her case, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that she's not prepared. See, when you are properly prepared to do what she's doing, um, your preparedness is the control. Do you understand? Because you know what you're talking about. You know what you're saying. You know that everyone else at the table is supposed to be prepared. So you don't have to, quote unquote, be so controlling in your behavior towards the women. You know what you're talking about. And so they naturally follow your lead. It becomes more about respect for you as a moderator because they know our leader is prepared and we're going to follow her. But when she knows she's not prepared, you know, there, there's a little bit of insecurity there. That's why she, you know, a lot of people have asked me, uh, why, do, why do I feel that she shuts Sunny down a lot and she does it so harshly? Because Sunny's prepared. She's prepared. She's prepared and, and, and she knows that. And so, again, I'm assuming y'all listen, let me just say this because, you know, we have like thousands of new people here. All of my commentary is truly opinion. I don't know none of these folks. OK, and they don't know me personally. I mean, I've never spent time with any of these ladies. So please, even though I say my opinion very matter of factly, please remember, it's just my opinion. And just like you, I'm looking at things on the surface and I'm, I'm making an assessment based on what I see. It's not that I think I'm right, even though I sound that way. <laughs> it's just that I see this and I think this. OK, so please keep in mind, this is just one woman's opinion. OK, do not take this for gospel. All right. So basically, I feel like um, for a number of reasons, she shuts her down. But for the main the main thing, I think is because Sunny is always prepared. And, you know, when you're prepared, you can always and easily outshine the person who ain't prepared. No matter who they are, no matter what the job is. But see, when you come to work. Late, mm-hmm. half prepared, mm-hmm. tired from all your jobs, mm-hmm. there is a little insecurity there. When there's someone who's sitting at the table who you know is always prepared, who's always on time, who takes her job really seriously. Yeah, you don't want that one saying too much. <laughs> Because there's a little bit of insecurity there, you know, and, you know, I think most people um, who've been on jobs where maybe you were the supervisor, or you were the manager and you had that sh- that star employee who you knew could do your job in a hot second. Yeah. I mean, y'all understand what I'm saying? Have any of you experienced that? Any of you want to be honest enough to say that, you knew that that one employee, you're like, mm hmm, mm hmm. But then, too, you know, you also knew that, you know, um, you could depend on them too to be prepared. So I've seen her switch too when when it comes to Sunny. When there's a guest on there who's really challenging, I've seen her kind of throw the ball to Sunny, so to speak, because she knew Sunny was prepared. Sunny had read the book. Sunny had seen the play, whatever it was, and so Sunny could do it. That's why they always pivot those segments to Sunny when it comes to uh, when someone's there and they have a book. Everybody knows Sunny's the only one who's probably read the whole book, you know. So. Um, there are a lot of dynamics that are going on at this table. And that's why I love talking about it on that level with y'all, because a lot of this stuff we experience ourselves, you know. And so the bottom line um, is this. I am enjoying the shows, but I, I do enjoy the shows when Whoopi is moderating. I do recognize, though, that she could do a much better job if she weren't so, um, you know, um, spread so thin. But it's her choice. It's her life. And I think with this new ABC News president, I think she's going to be requiring something different of Whoopi. And it may be something that Whoopi's just not ready. You know, she's not she's not ready uh, to be held to that high standard again. If you were with me on one of the last leaks we did, one of the things we learned from one of the insiders was that Whoopi and Joy have been allowed to do whatever they wanted under that old president for years, years. And so, see, now they've got a new president and we can tell she's about her business. She's about leading this company, you know, and not being asleep at the wheel like Mr. James Golston was allegedly. So we may see a lot of changes in in terms of people's preparedness because they know this woman is different and she's a different kind of leader. And she wants you to do this job and do it well. And she's already shown you she doesn't she doesn't have a problem, you know, letting you go. You're not so big that you can't go somewhere else and, and let and, and they've got two wonderful people there at the table who can moderate this show perfectly, Joy and Sunny. And we've seen them both do it. Yeah. So, guys, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. So I'm glad that Joy is smiling a lot more and she's so happy. And she she 
probably would have always done an excellent job as the moderator. Um, there have been times when Joy's been moderating when I felt like, okay, Joy, come on now. Because <laughs> y'all know Joy's kind of like the big sister. She can get in there and roll in the dirt with them and kind of forget, you know, hey, you're the moderator, <laughs> you know, and she'll start arguing with them and things like that. But these last many days, she's been doing a, the best job I think I've ever seen her do. Uh, moderating. So guys, that's what I want to share with you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Listen, guys, let us know your thoughts below. This is My View on The View, a podcast all about ABC's The View. Don't forget, hit that like button and I'll talk to you on the next one. Here we go, here we go again.